All right, Ian, tell us, what is the best-selling, most influential book of all time? Pat the Bunny. Pat the Bunny by Dorothy Cunhart. Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. Pop on Pop. Pop on Pop. Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham. But on my phone are two different versions of the Bible. I've got Tetris on my phone. It's kind of fun. This is Tetris, a video game developed by Alexei Pajitnov that arrived in the United States in 1989 for the Game Boy and the Nintendo Entertainment System. Hi, Sunday school lady. Hello, dear. Saddle down. All right, hello. I'm the church lady, and this is church chat. Good heavens, Winifred. Only two minutes in, and it's already a train wreck. Yes, Agnes. Should I change it? Oh, no, I love it. This is more fun than American Idol. The books of the Bible tell many different stories. There's, um, Paul and Silas. Zacchaeus, he was a wee little man. Yes, I know. Zacchaeus was a wee little man. Where should we start? Start in the middle. More like two-thirds of the way through. Let's start at the beginning. That's a very nice place to start. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Wouldn't it be good to know how the whole Bible is put together? You know, the big picture? I have a big picture of Conway Twitty in my bunkhouse. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. My Bible has 71 books in it because I stuck five comic books in the back. Today we'll be reading from the first book of the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern. From Jesus Christ to Billy Graham. Sure, you can go out and take a shot of heroin. Yes, we all love Carrie Underwood. Please let Jesus take the wheel so you can find the next DVD. Jesus takes the wheel, take it from my hands. At this rate, I'll be at Grandmom's house before God creates chickens. Which day did God create chickens, Mother? Was it before or after he created Colonel Sanders? And you likely wouldn't wear a white suit in a busy kitchen, but never worry about that in a Kentucky Fried Chicken kitchen. Our story might be about a little fish and a daddy fish living in the bottom of the ocean. At the end of the beginning, a terrible event happens and the little fish is captured and carried away. Does that story sound familiar? I gotta find my son Nemo! A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far, I think you're telling the wrong story. It got harder when someone else showed up in the garden. Who showed up? Santa Claus? Elvis? Sure, why not? Santa Claus and Elvis! You ain't nothing but a hamburger! Scatting is when you sing with no words, just noises, like Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> Or Cab Calloway. <laughs> I will look for an opportunity for you to scat in today's show. That would just be fabba dabba dabulous. Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do. It's become popular lately to dig up some of these rejected writings with names like the Gospel of Thomas or the Letter of Barnabas and act like they're secret new discoveries. Some folks work them into exciting books and hit movies. I'm not naming any names, but their initials are Da Vinci Code. Oops, did I say that out loud? The Da Vinci Code. We took a break between episodes to watch a little Dora the Explorer. I'm a newsman! I'm not paid to think. Do you think Walter Cronkite thought about his questions before he asked them? From Dallas, Texas, the Flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Do you think Peter Jennings thought about his questions before he asked them? I'm Peter Jennings in New York just a short while ago. Astonishing news from East Germany. We need to keep the show moving. Kids don't have the attention spans they used to, you know. This is that little house on the prairie. <laughs> Old Man River just keeps rolling. Sing with me, Pierre. Old Man River, he just keeps rolling along. I starred in The King and I. Were you the king? No, I was the I.
Anything else you'd like me to mention? You're wearing your SpongeBob underpants? No, I mean about the Pentateuch. His favorite underpants. Because sometimes people in kids' shows just disappear, like Steve in Blue's Clues. Bye. That Samson was a hairy brute. Yes, like Hercules or the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Everything I know about business, I learned from Donald Trump on The Apprentice. Oh, I like him. Hello, it's me, Michael, again. Uh, who are you expecting, Hannah Montana? Fine, I'll sing something unrelated. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. All right. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream again. Now the pirate has a submarine! Sort of reminds me of that singing group, the Beatles. They had a submarine? Yes, yellow. They all lived in it. I did not know that. We all live in a yellow submarine. They invaded America and kidnapped Ed Sullivan. All in their yellow submarine? All in their yellow submarine. Ladies and gentlemen, here are four of the nicest youngsters we've ever had on our stage. The Beatles! Bring them on! So became jealous. He was filled with envy and a hatred. Yes, King Saul turned to the dark side. Wait, wait, what? Jester, that's the guy from those space movies. Apology accepted, Captain Denver. And King Saul said, The spirit of a god is a very strong in this one. The force is strong in this one. And as he ran, brave men started running with him. Sort of like when a forest gump is running and these people follow him around. I had run for three years, two months, 14 days and 16 hours. And there was much rejoicing. In the frozen land of Nador, they were forced to eat Robin's minstrels. And there was much rejoicing. Hey, look, we're in our biplane. Congratulations, fellas. Watch out for power lines and big monkeys on the tops of tall buildings. Beethoven never played his songs from a moving vehicle. He never had to. His songs were good. Sit down, son, and let me give you a music lesson. What happens next? Do they choose a new form of government? Yes, perhaps a representative government with three branches. The executive, the legislative and the judicial. I've heard that can work well. Have you been watching C-SPAN again? It helps me sleep that nap time. Now C-SPAN is available in over 100 million homes across the nation. For unto us a child is born Unto us a son is given from Washington, Ted Koppel. Forget the news, this program tonight has absolutely nothing to do with the news. Our focus tonight is TAP. Do you think you're going to be able to do the show? Sure I am. I feel peppy. Well, then I'll call you Peppy Le Pew. Le bo wo wo Le bo Le wo Le rao rao Is that one of those jokes that only old people get? Well, I thought it was funny. I rest my case. Hey, I'm not that old. So, where are we in the Bible? My hair is prematurely graying. Like Steve Martin. God used empires as a part of his rescue plan. Empires? Like in Star Wars? I've heard they can strike back. Coming to your galaxy next summer. There's a very famous story in the Bible about God sending a prophet from Israel to Nineveh. And that prophet running the other way and ending up in the belly of a big fish instead. Do you know the name of that prophet? Pinocchio. What? No. He ended up in the belly of a big fish. Pinocchio is make-believe. No, he's not. He's a real... Boy, he said to himself, I'm real. I'm a real boy. 
Have you heard the stories of the Persian king that took 1,200 ships and a huge army to attack the Greeks and was horribly defeated? There are now movies and comic books about it. Well, that was Xerxes. Did you know there are a lot of songs in the Bible itself? Is Row 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 Your Boat in there? No, no, row, row, row your boat. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Um, Second Samuel says David was a great songwriter and even calls him the sweet psalmist of Israel. Sweet psalmist, Batman. Holy stuffy. Exactly, Robin. Psalm 8 says, Oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You've probably heard that in a song. Psalm 46 became the great hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. A mighty fortress is our God. Psalm 119 is a long acrostic poem that says, God's word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. We sing that one in church too. It sounds like one of those movies your mum wants to rent when your dad just wants to rent Star Wars again. We can do it! I'm setting my phasers to stun! <laughs> uh, that's a Star Trek reference. Dr. Schniff is a bit of a Trekkie. Oh, I'm a Trekkie too! <gasps> Nanu, Nanu! Uh, that's from Mork and Mindy. May the Force be with you! Star Wars. Trixie Hobbitses. Lord of the Rings. Uh, Buck, have you ever seen Star Trek? It's that show about the guy from the Priceline commercials, right? Oh, Bill. I thought it was room service. Priceline, the best choice in travel. A valley filled with dry bones that get up and walk around, for example. You mean them bones, them bones, them dry bones, those dry bones? Yep, those are the ones. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones, now they're the working of the Lord. These are the prophets, there ain't no fire. Most of our films, it's, it's, it's usually a, a Fellini-esque or surreal reinterpretation of, of familiar things in the culture that, that people can understand. I'm glad we don't have to say that Greek word for gospel. Euangelio. Euangeli fish. Ewan McGregor. Ha! Did you see what I did, Pierre? That was a Star Wars reference. Ewan McGregor played Obi-Wan Kenobi in episodes one through three. from one of me dad's eight track tapes from the 70s I think Jesus is the answer. they're gonna get superpowers will they be able to climb walls or shoot web out of their wrists uh, you mean like spider-man exactly we need a wow factor is that that show where people had to eat bugs um no you're thinking of fear factor gonna tell him. You said God had someone perfect for the job. But a little bit scary. And it's not Spider-Man. Nope, not Spider-Man. So who is it, Batman? The funny thing is, no matter how far we drive, it feels like we're passing the same trees. Birch, pine, pine, oak, oak. Like watching Fred Flintstone run through his living room, pass the same things over and over again. No, this isn't where we find out how Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader. That's a whole different story. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader.
Today's Book of the Bible was brought to you by the number seven. Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letter G. And the number seven.